once upon a time Swag did say he never heard of a radar hack, but you see somebody else was present there and they heard of the radar hack from Swag and then they implemented though, yeah, and they started utilizing it. Today we have footage. I got a video that I want to share with you guys. Like this video if you hate getting killed by cheaters in video games. Dislike if you love it. We're gonna, we're gonna get right into it. Roll it. Clench your butt cheeks, boys. Season 4 is officially underway. That Season means four? one thing. The cheat developers need to update their cheats, and they were oh, all no. offline. Yeah. The streamers, well, they're all pulling out of the $10,000 tournament. They have a bad case of streamer flu. Streamer flu comes around once a month, normally when an update comes. Mm -mm. I'm strong, I'm independent. Today, no one can stop me. Men are always wrong, by the way. Comes out, and the cheats are offline. <laughs> Absolute clown behavior. FIFA Kill Three has a bad case of it. He needs to be kept out of direct sunlight, similar to a gremlin. Apparently sunlight seems to affect him, so he must be kept in complete darkness. But he will be back tomorrow. Okay. Aiden, well, he has power issues. Hilarious. Oh, he needs to be banned from Taco Bell, bro. Like The rest of them are depressed and can't come online. Let's hope they all feel better soon. Yeah, Ironically, hopefully. on the same Pray. day, Call of Duty released they are about to ban the streamers from ranked play. Oh no. Coincidence? Thank I think not. Thank not. Using cheats in the World Series will quick- And, and apparently like Engine Awning, the cheat provider, they also got sued into oblivion and they gotta pay like 14 million dollars to activate it! Oh, shit. Yeah, they had to pay 14 million dollars, which is just insane, man. That's like the one of the biggest W that went down in gaming the other day as well. Man, absolutely insane. Can a brother get two pennies or something? Man, y'all is gonna be getting like 14 million. Damn, man. Can a brown man get like two pennies? Like, come on, man. Uh, I, I can get two pennies and I'll hit you all up with like a penny, okay? Penny and a half, okay? I'll, I'll keep the other buck. Uh, you feel what I'm saying? Quickly get you banned. There are way more manual checks of gameplay than ever before. Is it any wonder why Symphony finished 666? Bruh. He finished so low down he was even awarded the devil's number. Bruh. 666. Holy. The oh, perfect man. number for a cheating streamer. Damn, that's wild. He has to wild. pretend he is in the top 250 for rank by using a crude Photoshop overlay is embarrassing. He I did mean, that? These streamers can't even Photoshop the correct numbers in the same line. It's just uh, 102? Just hilarious. Oh, bruh. You just can't bruh. trust these Warzone streamers. Nah, there is no way he photoshopped, bro. I refuse to believe that, bro. I refuse to believe that. Nah, mm -mm -mm. I refuse to believe that, bruh. I have often stated, streamers should never be trusted. This is because they are parasites, feeding on a community of simpletons, convincing them to go to work, so they don't have to. They pretend they have hundreds, if not thousands of viewers to stay relevant, but it's just a lie. Uh -oh. A leaked screenshot shows the difference between real viewers and fabricated. The real viewers are in yellow, while the left hand side is fake. You can also take about another 25% off the yellow, due to smart bots. Yeah, okay, advanced bot detection warning, viewbot detected, viewer count has been updated in yellow. Holy crap, okay, so 785, that's like fake, and this is real. Okay, I see, I see, I see. You see, streamers need to convince you that they are important. If people don't watch streamers, then True. their entire brand has failed. True. Many Warzone streamers use. So yeah, like cheat. Uh, they got view bot, cheat bot, uh, engine owning stuff. Which got okay. They got sued, but like they got aim bots. Yeah, view bots, chat bot. Yeah, that like these things be like using triple XP. They think it's triple XP weekend. In fact, they don't even think it's triple XP weekend. They think it's triple XP all day, every day. What the hell is going on, bro? What the hell is going on? Can a brother get three likes on the video for uh, speaking facts? View no prayer? To pretend they have an audience. But they are easy to spot. Just look at the viewer numbers based on chat engagements. Yeah. Do you really think 4,000 people are watching Jukies? If that's true, they all are either asleep or forgot to plug in their keyboards. I believe Activision have been fooled tricked into a false collaboration with Warzone streamers. <laughs> nobody watches Imagine. them, nobody Imagine. trusts them, and nobody likes them. Imagine. But it's not just Jukies, it's all of them. I have so many clips of them doing this. I could make a full feature length. Okay, so you're saying that these streamers inflated their numbers with like, uh, viewbots and all that, and they catfish Activision? Oh man, I'm crying right now, bro. 
They they catfish. Okay, I love I like the I love I love the fact that they were able to catfish Activision because Activision has been uh, ca uh, catfishing the community. I'm talking about you guys and uh, myself included, like all the gamers, right? Like uh, they have been catfishing everybody with their games. So I, I I guess they also got the taste of their own medicine. But at the end of the day, like still, Activision has the last laugh, right? It's not like we won or anything like that. Yeah, nah, we didn't. But like they still have the last laugh, though. But but yeah, it'll be what it be though. Movie. The problem is the game studios are scared of them. They just don't want to upset them, as they will turn to Twitter and trash talk the game. You see, they can't control YouTube. I command this platform, and it absolutely infuriates them. They may have yes, fake YouTube plaques on their walls, but it's yes, just sir. nonsense. Yes, sir. The streamers have plotted ways to take me down. I have seen the Discord chats, it's hilarious. Yeah. So keep on knocking. As this channel stands for the truth, and exposes streamer world for the disgraceful scam it is. If you like the word- And guys, check this one out, okay? There's another clip that I saw. Apparently, they- these seconds got banned, uh, permanently banned from ranked. And there's like, cheaters uh, zone happening as well, a cheater world series or something like that. I, it's like, Warzone world series. Bruh. But it's renamed to cheaters series of Warzone. I actually bring some good news. You feel what I'm saying? Remember all those rats I've called out for boosting recently? Yeah. All Aiden. those wannabe pros that need to drop cash <laughs> at buy stations to shoot bots that are flying in. <laughs> Call of Duty agree. They are about to be wiped from the leaderboards. So keep an eye on the ranked leaderboards. And if anyone has been removed, they have been caught boosting, despite the warnings given to them by Activision. The streamers are all devastated by this news. Oh, they actually tried to tell you all it's not boosting. Hilarious. But FIFA, in the meanwhile, you know, someone that's actually grinding, you know, I, I don't oh, know. Man. Man. I really don't like going against Activision, bro. Okay. Because they do help my career and they have, like, their game has literally created a career for me. Okay. But, like, okay. I'm going to keep it a buck, man. What they're doing right now is very, very wrong. I yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so what I'm getting is that, like, uh, you uh, cheated your way to get on the top of the leaderboard. And Activision says that, okay, they're gonna, you know, correct that. And you're like, okay, well, uh, I don't want that. You know? I mean, you know? Damn, and I'll be, yeah, it's kind of sad, actually, guys. Holy. I don't agree with that at all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm very aware that I'm not getting a game right now. You, okay. you don't have to tell me. I know. I know. Trust me. Okay, trusting, trusting. <laughs> Now we have confirmation dropping cash near the buy station is boosting. I wonder how long it will take to update the World Series leaderboards, because all these streamers were boosting. Doing this in public games is one thing, but you cannot do this in a tournament where kills count. Holy man. Why is it so hard for people to understand that this is boosting? Oh, Nobody man, wants to what? watch streamers sitting on top of buy stations farming kills. It's like, yeah, I mean, back in the days, suckers would say that it's one thing to, one thing to mod or cheat, uh, in like a single player game, then it became, came to the point where multiplayer, now it's like, hey, full rampant, like, it's happening all day, every day, 24-7 in the online mode, right, and, <laughs> and it's happening so much so that it has become normalized, I have even seen people say that, bro, who cares if they cheat, bro? Like, stop hating, bro. Who cares if they cheat? At this point, like, I'm convinced that people that say who cares they cheat, they cheat themselves as well. Let's be real, right? But if you're somebody who's like, ah, oh, bro, like, I don't even care about the game. Okay, I, I get that part, right? But, but you have to also understand that it's, like, insane that these seconds cheat in online lobbies. And now, they're, they cheat even in, like, tournaments. Bruh, that's, that's insane, bro. <laughs> that's insane man like they, they be cheating in tournaments they got no fear no fear they all are super strong super independent bro like really really are. this is why they were all hiding with riot shields in corners like little mice during last year's grand final oh and next time you streamers attend a lan event yeah. at least have some competitive integrity <laughs> deliberately throwing a game on purpose so your friend can win one hundred thousand dollars is match fixing match remember fixing, that match fixing one can we get some claps from the crowd? Oh, oh shit. they don't like it. Well, we don't want to see that. I mean, yeah, my pick just won that, and 
you know, Sage did take home a lion's share of the 500k pull, but we wanted to see him get crazy. I don't know. I, I think Sage said, look, I already won $100,000 with my team. This is my boy Skullface. I'm going to give it to him. They were awful, and that's putting it nicely. Okay, like, so the crowd really did boo. That's, that's okay. That's wild. Okay, I, I think they know. I think they know. Do they, do they know? Do they know? I think they know. I think they know, guys. I think they know. Warzone streamers, the best in the world, hiding behind Riot's shields, sandwiched among a vehicle. Pathetic. Pathetic, yeah. Some time ago, Activision sued the popular cheat developer engine Oni <gasps> for creating and distributing cheat software yeah, for Call one. of Duty. This one, this one. Activision clearly stated that among the customers of the cheat software were high profile streamers. Not oh, streamers, man. but high profile. This is because the big streamers are cheating. Bumbaka! 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 Yeah, I mean, okay, okay. Finally, they know. I mean, they they known these suckers for years. Okay, they know they have been cheating for years, but they don't want to take any action because they want to keep on inviting them out. Because Activision, this is like the cheapest way to market the game. So Activision does benefit out of it because if they have to buy ads. They do still buy ads, but it's not as effective as, hey, inviting out somebody that has millions of subs, okay, or hundreds of thousands of subs, and, and just pay for their hotel, their food, right, uh, put them in a nice hotel, get them high on sugar, and all that, and let, let, them, let them play the game and all that, and post on their channels, then... Hundreds of people, thousands of people, millions of people will find out about your game. And it's cheaper that way versus you going ahead and spending money uh, on ads to reach similar people. It's just, you're going to be spending way too much on that. And it might not even convert that better versus if you were to go this route of uh, inviting out YouTubers, uh, streamers, and, and playing your game, posting your game, promoting your game and all that, talking good things about your game. It, it goes a long way, right? So, of course, like... Yeah, high-profile streamers, in other words, the streamer that, that they invite, basically, put. So, like, duh, they're not gonna, quote-unquote, ban all of them. They might ban one or two here and there, but they're not gonna ban all of them, because if they have to ban all of them, she, man, there would be nobody left to invite to the Activision, <laughs> Activision Island, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yay, yay. And most used engine owning during the lockdowns to build their brand. Well, yesterday, a court ruled in favor of Activision Publishing, stating that the cheat developer must now pay Activision a whopping $14 million. Under the DMCA, oh, the minimum amount Activision can seek is $200 per download, yeah. and only within the United States. The maximum yeah. they could have asked for would be $2,500. Okay. If Activision asked for the maximum, the cheat developer would have to pay back $180 million, and that's just based on downloads from the United States. 100 what? 180 million? 180 million dollars. Oh and that's God. just based on downloads from the United States. Yo, Activision, can a brother get like two pennies or something? Like, like, like? They will also need to pay the court costs of just under 300,000. The engine owning website must be transferred to Activision also. Holy. This comes as the popular cheat developer is still they got nuked, bro. They got nuked. Activision called in a tactical nuke and just cleared everything there, bro. They cleared the streets, my guy. They cleared the streets, though. But there's still a lot more streets left, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> there's still a lot more streets left. What I mean by streets left is a lot more, like, uh, engine-owning, like, software websites that provides the cheats, essentially, so. Still offline since their detection by Ricochet. I will not make any guesses of what will happen as mm -hmm. I simply have not spoken to the cheat developer or Activision. Yeah. If you like- Yeah, like and subscribe to Call of Shame, guys, and apparently a Call of- uh, Dr. Disrespect Friend was caught cheating as well, though. Yay! Yeah! Check out this video on the screen. On the left, if you- if you have not seen this video, then check out the video on the left. We have something else there waiting for you as well, guys. Waiting for you, waiting for you. Check it out on LC3.